Hello and welcome back to the Natural Willow YouTube channel. I'm Mary Ann and I'm passionate about helping you heal your horse, mind, body and soul naturally. Now today I'm sat in a tree. <laughs> there we go, I'm sat in a tree. Anyway, um, what I was doing today was going around my field just to double check for ragwort again. Anybody who has fields, whether they rent them or they are lucky enough to own them, will know that ragwort, like this bug is here, seem to spring up overnight. You'll do a search of the field, there'll be a nun, and then a few days later you'll search and then, whew, look, three more patches. So today I found three more patches of the damn things. I've pulled them up by the root, but I wanted to update you a bit more because I've done some research into ragwort because I've always, I've always been told information about ragwort. I've never actually sat and researched it myself. So I did my research and found a lot of contradictory information online. So I don't feel comfortable at the moment giving full details about ragwort because even I don't know which bits of information are true or which bits are false. I'm not a botanist. I don't even pretend to be one or pretend that I know the same amount as them. But from what I know, I don't feel as though I can give that information up to you yet. I was always told that ragwort contains tannins and it's the tannins that affect the liver and cause liver damage in horses, which can be what causes them to pass away. So one thing that is across all websites is that the ragwort actually contains poisonous or toxic alkaloids and it's the alkaloids that affect the liver. Now there's lots of contradictory information about whether the alkaloids accumulate in the body causing the liver damage, whether they just stay in the blood or the body for 24 to 48 hours and then they're gone whether a small patch of ragwort will cause liver damage or a big load or tons of it. At the end of the day, each horse has its own susceptibility depending on its overall health at the time. So for everybody's safety, I would suggest removing it. There's also lots of contradictory information to say whether it's poisonous to the touch. Some say it is, which is why you should wear gloves when you pull them out. Some say that it's not. Some say that it's just that the toxins become active when they interact with the digestive juices. So they're only toxic when they're eaten. Uh, me personally, I've always just grabbed them and pulled them out as soon as I've seen them just to make sure that I don't lose them. I've never actually had a reaction to them. If I did, I would certainly wear gloves, but I haven't. It doesn't mean that you won't, just like horses react to them differently. Historically though, interestingly enough, the ragwort has been used externally through history to aid for inflammation and pain, including gout as poultices uh, applied externally only. There is legislation about ragwort and there's a 1959 Act and a 2003 Act, but effectively it doesn't order that a person who owns land has to remove ragwort. It just means that if the ragwort infestation becomes excessive, then the uh, law can be used to imply an order on them to make them remove it but you can't go up to somebody and say according to the 2003 act you've got ragwort you need to remove it because you don't have that authority unfortunately at the end of the day it is a plant and about 150 insects use it for their own lives nutrition nectar all of the above so it is actually beneficial to some wildlife just not to our horses. So as I said in the previous video, please talk to your neighbours about it if you, if you find some in your own field, just so they're aware because it does have a seeding area of about five metres. I know it doesn't sound like much, but if you've got one that's five metres, that grows and five metres away, another one grows. So in about three years, it could be 15 metres away, which could be your next door neighbour who could have a horse or pony with liver issues. So communication is key. If you find any, pull it out. Wear gloves if you feel the need to or if you've had a reaction before. Check out our Facebook page where I'll put as much information that I feel I can, which is correct. It'll be on there and I'll be posting once a week for you. Please like, share and subscribe this video and my channel. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.